remembering Goodna was a powerful piece of contemporary history. It shocked a heck of a lot of people from the public who had no idea that children and young people were being treated the way they were being treated. And the display that was put on by the museum was very graphic and very confrontational and it pulled no punches. And I think it needed to do that um, because that's the lived experience of these young people. And, and I think that that was really, really important that they'd been taken seriously and that a fuss had been made of them and that they were believed in what they had to say and it was being displayed respectfully and publicly. With those former patients, that was living history. Like, they're still living with what had happened to them years and years and years before. And, and I think that that's very, very important for museums to be looking at what's going on or has just gone on in our society and to, to tap into that. I think museums can change lives. And as I've mentioned before, um, it, it has been a significant um, piece in changing the lives of those people, those people who are interviewed. And then for it to be displayed and their voice to be heard was a significant, a very significant step in them saying, well, I must be an okay person, you know, I must be okay, yeah. And that is really, really important. I can't stress that enough.